Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a nice, easy, cheap DIY project that is not only just easy on your wallet, but it can fit inside it. This project is very flexible, but the main purpose of this video is showing you how to use this project to break into a computer's files. We're going to be completely bypassing the original operating system and password. And this is pretty simple. All we're gonna be doing is turning this flash drive that's shaped as a credit card into a bootable tails drive. This tool can do a lot more than just look at the files of the computer. You can also use it because it has a lot of free privacy tools built into it. And it also can be used as a ghost drive if you wanted it to be. We're gonna go over all of this in this video and show you how to build it. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any illegal activity. Don't do these tests on computers that you do not own or you do not have permission to test. First thing we're gonna do is set the stage here. So I'm gonna be creating a folder that says do not open. This is gonna be our target folder on the computer. We're currently on Windows 11 and here is the special file, which is my logo that says do not look at this. There is the image and now we have the target set. So now we're going to build the bootable drive. First thing we need to do is plug the drive into the computer. Now we need to go to the Tails website. Here is the website. This is what it looks like. I'll leave a link for this in the description. We're going to click on install Tails. Click on download Tails only for USB sticks. Then after you do that, you're going to scroll down to where it says download Tails, whatever version it is currently at this time. It's only 7.1 once you click on that it will download now that part is done now let's set up the drive in this video i'm using rufus this is something that i use my channel quite a lot i have dedicated videos showing how to install rufus it's not really that hard but for this video i'm just going to go right to the point so once you open up rufus going to click on select like you just saw click on the download it shows in tails and then you're going to hit start and then hit OK. It's gonna delete everything on the flash drive and start installing Tails. Once it's done, you can just restart the computer. When the computer turns on, you have to get into the boot options menu, which is probably one of your F keys. For me, it's F9, and then click on the USB stick. So after you do that, you should see something like this. Now, once you see the welcome Tails screen, you need to click on the plus sign here. Once you do that, you need to set an administration password. Right here, I'm just gonna click on one, something super simple. Confirm it, whatever your password is going to be. Me, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm just put one and one, hit add, and now I'm going to start Tails. Next, you're going to go to the files. Once you see this pop up, scroll down to you see the volume, and then you're going to put in that password that you created in the beginning. For me, it just hit the number one, and then you're going to click on authenticate, and then you're in. As you see here, there is the folder that we created for this demonstration purpose, and there's the file. Don't look at this. And we're going to open it up. There you go. So now we have accessed this file without needing the Windows password. We completely bypassed the Windows operating system with our little DIY project here. Now Tails isn't just good for extracting files. You can also use it for privacy. There's a lot of built-in privacy tools. Some of my favorite are in here. Oh, we've got the Tor web browser and we have things like OnionShare. Just some really great privacy tools. Now, you also can use this project as a ghost burner drive. Now I have a whole dedicated video explaining how I set that up. Basically, you're going to use persistent storage that's uh, encrypted and you can hide files. And I think in the demonstration, I hid the Bible in there. But then I tried showing you guys what it looks like on a Windows machine. And uh, when you plug it in, because the file is hidden inside of the tails, you're not able to even see it if you plug it into Windows. It's completely invisible. Really cool project. I'll leave a link to the Ghost Drive video in the description. And that's it for this video. If you enjoy these free educational videos, consider becoming a member and help support the channel. Now, if you're into free privacy tools, I highly recommend you checking out Proton. And if you ever decide to upgrade to one of their premium plans, please consider using my affiliate link. This will really help the channel and it's no extra cost to you. Now, I really value these easy DIYs, especially when they're really cost effective. I do not believe in selling stuff like this for over $100. Um, there's some companies out there that package this into this crazy tool that they've created themselves, but just be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. I'm showing you guys how easy it is just to build one of these on your own with any flash drive. And you don't have to use what I showed you in this video. You can get a standard flash drive and do the same thing or buy a really cool pen looking flash drive and put the Tails operating system on that as well. So there's a lot of cool options that you can do. You're not just limited to what I just showed you today, but it's really cool finding new ways to use these tools to learn and to also create some really cool things. 
And it's also very important to getting privacy back because as the time goes on, the privacy is becoming more and more of an illusion. And if you made it this far in the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and do me a favor and remember, safety is an illusion. Oh,